G'day everybody, it's Matt here and today I have got the Ubiquiti Unify Wi-Fi 6 Mesh Wireless Access Point. Now this one, which you can kind of see on the front of the box there, the outline of it, is not particularly big. This picture on the front is pretty accurate actually size and as you can probably guess from the pack. There's not a lot of room in here for it to be big. So these are a super small access point. I don't know that mesh is the best name for them because all of the ubiquity wireless access points can function in a mesh capacity. However, all of the other ones that are currently available at the time that I'm recording this are intended for indoor use. This one, the Wi-Fi 6 mesh, is IPX5 rated for outdoor use, as long as it's mounted upright. So where the cable goes in is facing down the LED section, which is this little bit up the top here, is facing up. As long as it's mounted in that capacity, it's IPX5, which means you can use it outdoors. So that means that this one has the flexibility to be used in more locations, and it does come with some extra mounting options, like a pole mounting as well. So in addition to the pole mount in the box, we also have wall mount capability, and of course, desk mount. These can also be mounted in the roof, but you do need a separate roof mount kit for that one. The box itself doesn't have a whole lot on it. We've just got a picture of the mesh access point on the front. Then we've got mesh on the two sides, Unify 6 on the top and bottom. And on the back, we've got all of our certifications and warnings and so on, model numbers and all that sort of thing. So let's whip this one out of the box and we'll have a close look at it and everything that comes in the box with it. Now these access points are meant to cover about 140 meters squared, which is about 1500 feet squared and support up to about 300 devices. They do say potentially can support more than 300, but I think in practice, if you're getting to 300, you're probably going to be starting to see some pretty significant impacts to performance. They support Wi-Fi 6 in full 4x4 MIMO at 160 megahertz, and support speeds of up to 4.8 gigabits per second on 5 gigahertz, and 574 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. They do require power over Ethernet, that's PoE, so you need a switch or a router that has PoE output. So for example, like the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Special Edition, which you can check out my unboxing video of up there, or like the Ubiquiti USW 16 PoE switch, and you can check out my unboxing video of that one up here as well. If you don't have a switch or a router or that sort of thing that is capable of power over ethernet, these do come with a power over ethernet injector, so you don't need to get one separately. So that's really awesome. I like that they include that. So let's put this one out of the box. We'll have a close look at it and what comes in the box with it. All right, so box, like I said, all pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot on the outer. We've got this plastic shrink wrap over it, so we'll just cut that so that we can get into the box and then we can get in and then basically the top of the box just slides off the bottom section. These are a cardboard box and they're pretty rigid, pretty solid. They definitely remind me of Apple packaging with these ones. Then we've got plastic holders on the inside to keep this in place. So in the box, we've got the wireless access point. That's the Ubiquiti U6 mesh. This one has a little plastic protective cover on it. Another one on the top here. And that's it. So this is the top. This is the LED section. So it needs to have this bit up for outdoor mounting in order to be IPX5 rated. As you can see, it is just a very small cylinder overall. It's a plastic outer casing. It's got a remarkable amount of weight to it. It feels super solid. On the bottom, we've got a rubberized foot here. So this is our tabletop mount. And so to actually connect this one up and put the cable in, we need to remove the base as well. So I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So that rubberized foot designed to sit like so. We do also have a little hole in the bottom of that rubberized section. And that actually goes through to the reset button inside the base here. So that's where the little reset button is there. So that little hole there lines up perfectly with that reset option. And of course, this is where our ethernet cable is gonna to connect to as well, and it's gonna come straight into here. So of course, that means we need to thread the cable through. So we've got two options. If we want the cable to come out the back of the unit, then essentially we're just gonna put it in here like so. Plug that one in. And of course, it needs to be power over ethernet, or this is not going to get power. It needs that to function. And then we would slide this back in over the top and that's going to clip in and that is the perfect size for our ethernet cable there and so that locks it in and holds it in place and everything and that's really nice so there we go that's it if we were having this set up with the desk mount if we wanted to mount it so that the cable comes through the bottom which is going to be a bit awkward with the desk mount then we need to thread our cable through this little hole in the base first it is of course shaped exactly like what we need for an ethernet cable so we're just going to feed that through then we'll plug our cable in however it's mounted through the bottom there which i don't know that ever works in practice with a desktop mount. You need a cable that's got a 90 degrees plug or that has a very short end to it so that it can 
bend before reaching that edge because this particular cable does not bend far enough. So you can see it still pokes out there and I don't want to damage the cable by trying to force it at an angle that it's not designed for. So just something to keep in mind if you're planning to use the desk mount with the cable coming through the bottom there. So that is the wireless access point. What have we got in the box here? Well, we've got a few more things. Underneath the wireless access point, we have our quick start guide. So there really is not much to this. It's just a QR code for you to scan. That takes you to the web version of the quick start guide. Then underneath here in the box, we have the wall mount and of course the pole mount kit. So these are actually both the same. There's only a little difference to these ones. So that's it. So we've got our replacement base for the access point. Then we have the wall mount and pole mount segment. Then we've got the zip ties here for pole mounting and screws here for wall mounting. Next up in the box, we have our PoE injector. So these come in their own little bag. It's got power input at one end and then at the other end we have got our ethernet in and our power over ethernet out so we connect our data cable that's coming in from our switch into this one and then the cable to go into the wireless access point in this one these are also wall mountable these poe adapters but they are not rated for outdoor use and so this one has on it already this wall mounting kit so that's it there basically we're just going to screw that into the wall and then of course the PoE injector just slots onto that. Now that PoE injector needs power and that's what we find down the bottom here. So that's just gonna hook up like so. And then of course we would run our data cable, as I mentioned, into this port and then our PoE and data out from this one to the wireless access point. And that's it. So there you go. That is everything that comes in the box with the Ubiquiti Unify Mesh Wireless Access Point. So obviously the Unify 6 Mesh itself, the Quick Start Guide, the PoE injector, and of course the wall mount slash pole mount kit. So how do we switch from desktop mount to that wall or pole mount? Well, let's have a look at that. It's a pretty straightforward process actually. Ubiquiti have made this super easy. So all we're gonna do is take the table base off the access point like so, and that just slides off. And then we'll take our wall mount base and it's just gonna slot on exactly the same way as the desk mount. So we wanna line these little tabs here up with the groove in the bottom of the access point. So just like so, we'll line them up, slot that in, that'll click in like so. And so you can see we've got here this gap on the back. Now there are a couple of screw holes that you can use to screw this base on. And then we've got this piece here. So this piece here is what we're gonna use to both mount it to the wall or to a pole. So if it's wall mounting, we've got two screw holes here and we're gonna use those to screw this into the wall. And then once this is screwed in, we wanna make sure that this piece here is down. So it sits on the wall like so, like that. This bit here is up, this bit is down. And then once that's been screwed onto the wall, we're gonna slot the wireless access point on. You can see we've got grooves in here in the bottom of this wall mount base that line up with these tabs here. And so you can see they're side by side that they are perfectly sized to fit together. So we're just gonna line it up and slot that in. And so it's gonna sit like that. So that's gonna be our upright. So this is down here at the bottom like so. And so it's basically gonna sit on that base. So if that's wall mounted, that's basically it. That's all we need to do. This is screwed onto the wall. We've sorted the wireless access point on. We're good to go. If we're using the pole mount, then we need to use these two zip ties. Now the wall mount is designed here with these two slots in the back. You can see those, there's one here, one here, and they come out the other side. So the idea is these zip ties will run through these slots and out the other side and around the pole. And we'll pull those nice and tight, both of them onto the pole and ensure that's nice and solid. And, and that's the pole mount system. So it's actually a super easy system to use. Now, what about the cable when we're using this wall or pole mount system? So that's actually very similar to the desk mount. We've got this little tab here in the back of the wall mount. So that's this bit here. You can kind of see that moves when I press it. That tab will actually pop out if you need to run the cable out through the back of this piece. So you can see that lines up here with this hole. So let's say we've already got cable coming out through a wall and we want to line up with that. Basically, we're just going to pop this tab out, line up our mount. So this is going to cover our cable hole and we'll run the cable through here, through this piece and into the wireless access point. So if we're using it as a pole mount or even the wall mount and we want the cable to come out the bottom, the process is pretty similar to the desktop mount. So first the cable needs to be able to bend at a 90 degree angle or already be a 90 degree cable because when we put the wall mount piece on, it actually blocks the back of that socket. So it needs to be able to come out here. And then more importantly, once that wall mount is slotted on, the cable needs to be able to feed through that little hole there in the bottom. Now that hole is the same size as the one created in the back of the unit by the table mount. And that should fit perfectly a Cat 5E or a Cat 6 cable with no problems, but it needs to have that bend in the cable or in the plug already in order to be able to reach that point. So there you go, that is the Ubiquiti Unify U6 mesh or Wi-Fi 6 mesh access point. So I hope you found this video helpful. For more information and pricing on these little access points, make sure you check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. And of course, give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one from me. Bye for now.